Welcome to another episode of Grills Gone Wild. Well, BMW has finally done it. After their obsession with giant grills, they've managed to design a face that even a mother can't love. My name is Omar, and today I'm test driving the 2021 BMW M440i. Well, kind of. So here's the story. Unfortunately, during my time with the new M440i, I had an incident where a deer ran into the driver's side of the car, causing a bit of damage. Also, unfortunately, that meant I couldn't film footage of myself driving the car like I am right now, and even worse, I couldn't do a launch control. That said, here I am today filming inside another BMW, a 2021 BMW 5 Series that I recently picked up for my wife, and I'll eventually show it to you guys and give you a full review. But today, we're here to talk about the new 4 Series while driving the new 5 Series. So the new 4 Series has a giant beaver tooth grill, which has become very, very controversial. And did BMW know that it was gonna get them this much backlash? Of course they did. I highly doubt there was somebody sitting inside a meeting at BMW going, that's absolutely beautiful, you've nailed it. But hey, it's here to stay and it will also be making its way onto the new 3 Series, so learn to love it. Honestly, I thought when I get the new 4 Series for a week for a test drive that I would learn to love it and I have a little bit, but when I see it sometimes, I still get scared, and apparently it also scares deers. Now let me give you a tour of the 2021 BMW M440i xDrive, and then I'll give you my opinion on what I think about it, but before I do, make sure you hit subscribe, make sure you hit like. All right, let's do this. All right, let's kick things off like we usually do by looking at all of the cool and interesting things that you should know about the new 4 Series, but first, we have to talk about this controversial grill because it's right in your face and we can't just skip over it and it's really, really windy outside, so sorry for the wind noise. It's definitely not pretty, is it? I feel like I'm more forgiving than most people when it comes to car design, but this is just shocking. And yeah, BMW could have just been trying to shock us by creating this striking kidney grill, but couldn't they come up with something else? It seems like it started off pretty nice with this mesh 3D pattern, but then it went totally left. Will it grow on some of you? Maybe. Will it grow on me? Probably not. Do I feel like everybody else in the world that just likes complaining about grills? Absolutely yes. Now, if you still really want the new 4 Series, just get it in a black exterior and then pay the extra $300 for the shadow line trim so you can hide this grill. All right, with the grill out of the way, the BMW M440i xDrive is the highest performance 4 Series you can buy until the new M4 comes out into dealerships, so that means we gotta listen to the exhaust sound. It's solid, but it's not that exciting. There's no massive snap, crackle, and pop. It's definitely not like the M340i's exhaust. Take a listen to that. And the reason it's not that exciting is because of European noise regulations, which are forcing brands like BMW's M Division and Mercedes AMG to make quieter exhausts for their sports cars. And this is a result of that. Of course, at this point, you're probably thinking why we're suffering here in the United States. Well, automakers can design ladder exhausts for specific markets, but it's just too expensive for them to do so. So we have to live with this. And that's another reason why automakers are pumping fake engine noise into the cabin. So if you go into the general settings of the M440i here, you'll see a setting called engine sound, and you can set it to depending on drive mode, sporty, balanced, and reduced. I'll just keep it on sporty. But the engine sound coming into the cabin here in the M440i is definitely not as exciting as the one on the M340i. So here is something I saw Doug DeMero point out and I wanted to find out myself and it's kind of funny, BMW will help you cheat on your significant other and I'm not kidding. So if you go into the BMW Intelligent Personal Assistant, there's a setting here called Passenger on Board so you can tell your BMW M440i not to show any contents of text messages or the name of the caller when you have this turned on. Of course, I feel like that would just create a world of other problems, so just put your phone on do not disturb mode or turn it off, but also don't cheat on your significant other. Before we move on, I do wanna point out the infotainment system here. I've reviewed this infotainment system quite a bit in my other BMW reviews, so if you want a deeper dive, go check out those reviews and you can get a closer look at things like carrying car and stuff like that or the voice assistant so go check out my other bmw reviews i link them in the description below although i did find a new setting for the bmw voice assistant for 2021 and it promotes the ultimate level of laziness check this out hey bmw lower the driver's side window okay i will open the driver's window that's the ultimate level of laziness that you can achieve or you can just use the window button right there to close your window i mean come on Unfortunately, she can't close the windows. Check this out. Hey, BMW, close the driver's side window. The windows cannot be closed by voice control. 
Oh, come on. Now I gotta do that manually? Jeez, I'm too good for this. Wow. Moving on, let's talk about how much it costs. The 4 Series now starts at $45,600 for the 430i. If you want the M440i xDrive, like the one I'm driving here, that starts at $58,500. The M4 will start at $71,800. The competition M4 will start at $74,700. As tested here, you're looking at right over $70,000. All right, let's talk horsepower and torque. Power comes from a 3-liter twin-powered turbo inline six-cylinder making. 382 horsepower and that's made it to a really quick shifting eight-speed automatic transmission and that will give you an officially quoted zero to 60 time of 4.3 seconds obviously it's quicker than that it's underrated i've done it at about 3.94 seconds flat and then you have a top speed of 155 miles an hour fuel economy wise you're looking at 22 city 31 highway you have a 15.6 gallon tank capacity i'm averaging after a couple days of driving a total of 19 0.2 miles a gallon not bad all right moving forward let's take a closer look at the exterior design we've already talked about the grill so let's keep it moving and take a look at the rest of the car now once you get past that giant giant grill i think the new 4 series is absolutely beautiful the side profile reminds me a lot of the 8 series which i think is one of the most beautiful bmws ever made the rear end to me looks even better i love the rear profile of this thing and if you don't want to look at the grill just look at the back and again, it reminds me a lot of the 8 Series. I really like the design of the taillights here. They look very, very sharp. And here's what they look like with the indicators on. My test model has the optional Icon Adaptive LED headlamps with laser lights, which are super bright. We've also seen these before. And here is what they look like with the indicators on. Now let's check out the wheel game. All 4 Series come standard with 18-inch wheels, but my test model here has 19-inch wheels for an additional $1,500. By the way, I like this color a lot. It's called Arctic Race Blue Metallic, and it will run you an extra $500. Of course, don't get this color since you won't be able to hide the grill. Definitely get it in black and get the shadow line trim. Now, before we keep it moving, let's check out the cargo capacity. You have a button right here under the BMW logo, which also has the lens for the rear view camera. Once you get it open, you have 12 cubic feet, and that's not bad at all. So that's really it. Dope. All right, now let's hop inside the new 2021 4 Series. And once you get inside, you'll notice it's pretty similar to the current 3 Series that's on sale right now. If you've seen my review of the BMW M340i, the interior here in the M440i will feel very, very familiar to you. Nothing too different here at all. Sit inside for a while and you'll notice it's a pretty solid place to be. Very nice quality throughout this cabin. The steering wheel has a really nice feel. Nice quality on top of the dash, on the side panels, the buttons. There's not many creaks or cracks going on here. Everything is really, really well put together. My test model has the Cognac leather trim for an additional $1,450. And this is probably my favorite BMW color combo right now. I also have the optional $3,700 executive package. And this is probably the package you really want to add on when buying the new 4 Series. And it will give you things like a heated steering wheel, heated front seats, and the cool gesture control, which I never really end up using at all. Two cool things that I want to point out really quick is the animation in the gauge cluster when you circle through the drive modes. This is sport, this is comfort, this is eco pro, and this is adaptive. Eco pro and sport look pretty cool. And then in the rear seat of your 4 Series, which you'll probably never use, you have your own climate control and two USB-C ports. That's very interesting since most automakers don't really put many amenities in the back of coupes. I'm also really digging this new trim over here. There's no polished black, which is really nice because that means there's going to be less fingerprints, but the pattern on this thing looks pretty dope. It's never fun filming on a windy day, but it's got to be done. Let me point out a few random things that I'd love to show all of you before I give you my opinion on how it is to drive this thing. You have four cup holders, two in the front for the front passengers and then you have two in the back for the rear passengers here are what the keys look like for the m440i they got the m logo and colors even though this is not a real m but you have it so pretty cool door open and close sound from the outside and from the inside pretty solid and it gives you your seat belt too you got a seat belt butler cool when it comes to the charging game, you have a USB-C port right here, you have a USB port right here, and a wireless charger will run you an extra $500. And here is how the horn sounds on the 2021 BMW M440i xDrive. Oh yeah. Pretty solid. Like it a lot. Let's go. Let's keep it moving. All right, now that I've given you a tour of the 2021 BMW M440i, let me give you my opinion on what I think about it. All right, let's get to it. 
So is the new M440i as exciting to drive as the M340i? Not really. Don't get me wrong, the M440i is still fast and it still handles really well. It's just missing the theatrics of the M340i. Zero to 60 comes in 4.3 seconds as officially quoted by BMW. Obviously it's much quicker than that. I've done it in 3.9 and four seconds flat. The M440i is quick and it is pretty sharp, but you won't feel that from the feedback that you get from the steering. Here's my theory. BMWs of the past were all about tight steering and strong acceleration. The steering feel of the BMWs of the past from the lower trims to the M models were really, really tight. However, not everybody likes a tight steering feel. I'm sure a majority of the people that spend money on a BMW don't care for a tight steering wheel. And that's why the steering feel has probably gotten lighter and lighter over time. Why? Because BMW wants to sell a lot of cars to the majority of car shoppers and not just people like me and a select few of you who enjoy tight steering feels and strong acceleration. However, this is an M440i, which is the most M you get before going for the M4. It has an M badge, and if it has an M badge, I expect an M steering feel. It feels more like a Grand Tourer, and that's totally fine. I love comfortable cars. As I get older, I enjoy Grand Tours more and more. They offer you a lot of power, great handling, with a very comfortable ride quality. And if that's what you're looking for, get an M440i, because you'll be really happy. However, if you want a sportier drive, more theatrics, and snap, crackle, and pop from the exhaust when you hit the gas, go find an M340i or hang on for the new M4. That's if you can get over this grill. Either way, thanks for watching. Make sure you hit subscribe. Make sure you hit like. Make sure you follow me on Instagram and on TikTok. My handle is at Omar Drives. I'll catch you on the next one. Take care. Peace. And yes, I will review this 2021 BMW 5 Series in a few weeks. Hit that subscribe button.